Looks like even ransomware authors can go into early retirement. So Joe, I understand you got a story about a, some ransomware authors that are retiring? Yep, exactly. Yeah, I picked this up from Threat Post, kind of an interesting one that, you know, we don't talk about this end of it, but on the dark web, uh, some researchers picked up on the authors of the Gan Crab ransomware issuing a statement that they're, they're retiring, that they're shutting down their infrastructure and they're going to um, not do any more decryptions and that the GAN crab ransomware is no longer operating. So, um, you know, the, it was as of June 1st, they shut it down and it was a little over a year that started in January of 2018. Um, so GAN crab kind of, you know, a pretty prominent ransomware. It, it does, you know, standard ransomware, ransomware as a service. Uh, categories by the encrypted files getting a .gdb gdcb file extension, so that's where you know GAN crab comes from. Um, available in a host of vectors, spam, uh, fake software downloads, exploit kits, um, social engineering targeted uh, ransomware. Um, but yeah, I mean the the. Dark post, the dark web post basically said they, the authors claim to have made $2 billion, uh, which they equate to approximately $2.5 million per week. So between the ransomware as a service and the, the fees paid directly to the uh, ransomware operators, you know, $2 billion in, you know, about 18 months. Um, and, and from this point forward, they, they issued a warning, no further decryptions if you purchase the ransomware now, meaning you operate it, you're not going to get files back for any uh, future victims. You know, this is kind of the other end of the spectrum. This is the, the malicious actor's view of their post to the dark web saying, you know, we're done, we've washed all our money, we've made a, a huge bounty and we're, you know, getting out of the business. I just thought it was interesting, you know, we, we're always looking at from, you know, how to protect yourself from ransomware. but you know, a real kind of a glimpse into what it's like to be somebody who is cashing the checks for these things. So, um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you think, Stan or Jim? I'm hopeful that the that law enforcement will catch these guys. And yeah, I agree. I mean, with this, this level of kind of braggadocious, you know, mentality, posting on the dark web and, uh, you know, you, you hope there's some investigator who's, you know, hidden in there somewhere, you know, per, per Pertorting to be a, a, a you know one of their buddies that's actually in law enforcement and maybe they'll uh, come to justice, but that that's not the way the uh, the story is told right now. It almost reminded me of another malware author uh, who wrote Mirai, who did something similar. So the creator of the Mirai source code, I believe, uh, just put it out there and made this big statement of some sort and said, you know, you'll never catch me or something like that. Yeah. And then immediately, like a few months later, was caught by, I believe, maybe the FBI or for certain, you know, law enforcement. Right. Um, so I wonder if it's just something to kind of, maybe they feel the heat is on and they're just trying to put this full statement out. Yeah, there. I mean, I did read that um, there's been a bunch of decryptors released lately. So they're sort of, uh, leverage is declining, the, the subscriptions for the ransomware are decreasing as well, so it also kind of feels like they're getting out before the, the market collapses. Market cla exactly, before everybody realizes that their stuff's not valuable anymore, so it could be a little bit of both. The, the other concern, yeah, there have been some of these decryptors coming out lately, but anybody who, you know, who gets infected with this now, now that the back end infrastructure is shut down, that doesn't mean that all of the you know, all of the websites that were spreading it, all of the exploit kits that were spreading it have removed it. So it's back to what we always talk about, the the, the best defense against ransomware is good backups. Yep. So that yep. you can recover your stuff in case yeah, in case the bad guys choose not to give you a key even if you do pay. Right. But now, in this case, where it might not be possible to pay, you know, 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, you got to pray that there's some sort of decryptor posted that you can find and figure out how to implement because, yeah, there's no one to pay anymore. The lesson here is you have to be careful about what you click on, be careful what you do online, um, and uh, maybe don't even believe everything you read. <laughs>